Yeah, yeah. Five times just to get a pussy, okay? He lied, he lied. I got to keep it up. Now, I'm here. I'm definitely humble. And um, how old are you? Tell me if I'm old. Um, I'm 19 years old. I'm about to be 20 this year. Now, we're going harder than a lot of you. Oh, uh, yeah. Obviously. And then I'm not even saying it would be funny. Like, when you hear the beats, and then you turn around like a person playing the beats, you almost think he didn't make the beats. Like, I, I had to really be like, yo, let me see you make a beat. I don't believe you. And then he made a beat. And then he made the shit fast, too. It was like, like Swizzy on crack, okay? <laughs> like Dr. Dre on drugs. That's what his beats sound like, okay? We might have to get some of these beats on air for you. Oh, oh yeah, sure. You got, got songs, too. You got the songs? You yeah, got the I got the songs. I got the songs. We're going to get all that right for you. We're going to get back to some music and stay right here. Brother Jay ain't going nowhere. He's going to help you out. He's going to change your life for the better. I promise you. It's true. It's you think me? You're a true champagne. You're going to vibe. You're still this bitch. You did? Yeah. Nonetheless, Brother Jay is still in the building. And we definitely got some things that we need for you to hear. Um, so you can get a clear understanding on why he's the next and how this producer come up with this motherfucking plan. Fuck it, I said the plan. Okay, plan. Young Swizzy, Young Dr. Drake, and any of his favorite motherfucking producers. Okay, it's all in one. Somebody is drilling some motherfucking hoes, but it's okay. We just don't have a fact. Why don't you have you looking like that? I'm doing good. Shoot, he got like some growing stuff. It's like everybody that uh. It's like ever since the Super Bowl last year, niggas wanna come move to Atlanta now, they don't wanna go back home. You know what I'm saying? People like trying to That's take like a little piece of grass and like, put like a whole highway on that shit now. I got here in 2011, I don't know what y'all was doing. I already knew what was going on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm glad I came before all the food. So I got to witness it change. So I will say I appreciate that about Atlanta and how it's been treating me since I've been here. But nonetheless, how you like it? How long you been here? Um, I've been here like majority of my life, you know what I'm saying? Born and No, not born and raised. Um, no, I was born in New York. Okay, like, most of the time. Okay, okay. Like, see, that's yeah. why it makes sense. I was born in New York. Yeah. Sense. What's good at that? It's like, <laughs> I was about to say, young boy, let's go. Anyway, uh, what part of New York? Uh, I'm part of uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, okay, same, same. Uh, got a lot of family out there in Brooklyn. Shout out to my Brooklyn crew, my home. Shout out to the Bronx team. Hey, yeah. what what really got you into producing and engineering? What made you say, you know what, I'm just gonna put this computer and make a beat. And not only did you make the beat, you fucked that shit up in a good way. And that's a good question. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be raw and uncut with this and I'm gonna tell like the, the whole the whole entire story. Cause like at first like I didn't see like myself making beats at all, you know what I'm saying? Cause like before all this stuff, I wanted to like be like a WWE wrestler or like making video games for the uh, Sega and make Sonic stuff and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Still that check shit. Yeah, yes, it still is, you know what I'm saying? I still go back and revisit that shit laid down the road, cause I, I still got dreams like, you know what I'm saying, probably like do like a whole soundtrack for Brooke, the new next Grand Theft Auto or like a 2K, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, what, Rockstar Games? Rockstar Games. You got your next production uh, yeah. manager right come, here. Come okay. holler at me. Holler at me. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like I'll, I'll do a whole storyline too. For, for a character. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Well, back to the story. Um, shoot. I remember it was like in 2013. Okay. Um, I've always been around music, you know what I'm saying? For like my grandfathers and my father. You know what I'm saying? My father used to be like a pro manager for like the DMX and stuff like that. That's it. Yeah. Er, er. Probably not the right part. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, any dog, really, at this point. You know what I'm saying? But uh, he used to like just bring me around, like, all these different like people that do music and stuff like that at the yes. time. Like, at the time, I was like, man, I ain't trying to do that. You know what I'm saying? I want to play games. And this is what happened because you were so young, you soaked it all up. Exactly. You, was all, you had no choice but to bring that. Yeah, had no choice. Yeah. But that was some lit ass air. You just did not understand. At, the time. <laughs> at, at that time, hell no, I didn't. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and admit it. You know what I'm saying? But um Did Miss Pirate change your life? Shit, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> that good story to tell kind of maybe not. But <laughs> 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 I had to think about it for a second. Like, do I really want to tell people the American change my life? But hey, you never know, like one of your favorites. 2020. Anything can happen. Yes. Okay. Right. We thought it was crazy once the black man was president. It was even more crazy when they let Trump stupid ass be president. But that's a whole nother story. <laughs> Nonetheless, so you started uh, around 2013. You was how old around that time? Uh, I was like 
12, 13, going on 13 and stuff like that. But I, baby, this this is a very, very important part of the story because like, I'm gonna tell you like when I first like got into it, people like, you know, I was, you know, I'm gonna go in and uh, start making music and stuff like that. Cause it all started when I when I was watching uh, the 2012 uh, BET Hip Hop Awards and stuff mm. like that. And um, I was just watching like everybody doing their thing, and it was like this one certain segment where all the uh, all the uh, Caribbean and West Indian artists came out. I don't know if you remember that one when they had like Elephant Man come out. Yeah, uh, Baby Man, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, they got Roman Red Bull and all that shit. I grew up in like a West Indian household. Like every Saturday morning when you hear, oh, Baby Screws, they call it murder. You know, it's time to get your ass up out of bed and go clean up. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? And uh, um. Yeah, I saw that shit, I was like, man, you know what I'm saying, fuck making games, fuck making, um, you know, you know what I'm saying, doing, um, wrestling, what? You know what that was? A vibe. A vibe, exactly. A vibe, that's the vibe A vibe for your spirit. You a vibe show. Me. Courtesy of Champagne Jewels, you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Champagne Feather. Talk to me nice. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but, uh, yeah, that, that spoke to me in a sense. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. So, like, I wrote down, like, a small little vision board on a sheet of paper. I was like, you know what? I'm a, uh, I want to make music that like touches people's spirits. I want to help people get to where they need to be music-wise and stuff like that. And I really want to like make a difference in this world. You know what I'm saying? Because I realize like a lot of people, um, they don't they, they they listen to stuff, but they don't know why they listen to the stuff, and they don't have like the. Uh, it's like it's like it's like a difference between eating McDonald's and a slow cooked meal. You know what I'm saying? Because like you eat McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? You still gonna be hungry like three or four or five, six minutes later. And, and you know what I'm saying? Three or four or five minutes exactly. later. Like me, but we gonna get to But if you if you can eat like a slow cooked meal, like like Jules did, but music wise, you know what I'm saying, you be good. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You get the nutritious what you need. You know what I'm saying? Your skin go clear up. You're gonna start speaking a certain way. You know what I'm saying? My yeah. God, your whole your whole life in the universe finna change. I think I know a new language. That's how fuego is that? <laughs> oh God. But so, yeah. you got some beat for us, for, for the people to hear so they can understand what's really going on. Let them hear a little shout, shout, something. I, I got beats and songs. Shit, I don't know. Hell, we gonna let them hear it all. Whatever yeah. you have to hear. Something to let them know what's really fucking good. You about to get into that with you with Sauce and Flavor, Running Jays in the building, or oh, yeah. attention, take notes, and follow. Directions that are called blueprints for a reason, which I'm gonna give you extra headaches, okay? What mother do you want us to do? Do it for you? It's not gonna happen. Okay. Let's go, brother. Uh, yeah, this uh, this first song for the play is uh, called Too True by Nisha Nice. It actually got placed on uh, HBO's before it was in there. You know what I'm saying? So that check finna be crazy. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? I was actually like my first sync placement too. So bowling on you. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, bowling on me, yeah. I bowl okay. too. Matter of fact, I saw I saw you on live too. Uh, with Bo. I was I met the say slam. I was like, you know what? We, we gotta go. We, we, we gotta go. Yeah, we, we gonna talk about this somebody. Let's go in and get shit. Let's get ready. 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 Like I always used to like see Nishin as like all the time, like before I started making the beats, you know what I'm saying? My dad used to bring me around like highly unique. Like when this used to be back in the like, barbershop days. Right. Like them barbershop days used to be something, man. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people came through there, like uh Fly Guy DC, you know what I'm saying, Ferrari Simmons. It was you know a lot there was a lot of people that came through there. When how many radio first got? I interviewed a lot of people my damn self. And I've also seen a lot of big interviews, Cat Stacks. Um, I had DC, I had uh, Chanel and Money, Michael Montana. This is when we were, we were tunes was jumping with a name. This is when the name came out. The name came out. Uh, 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 when it out. Uh, who else? The list goes on and on. Shit, yeah, y'all on the team? Y'all on Charter? Y'all on Charter has not been a man No. We no, got, no. We got Get ready for your interview, motherfucker, okay? Drop that dog ass exclusively right here, okay? Nonetheless, um, yeah, a lot of people have definitely stopped that grounds through out of here. And they blowing up a lot of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them blowing up. Like, uh, there was one DJ named uh, CM the DJ. Shout out to him. You yeah, know what shout out to CM. Uh, he came a long way, you know what I'm saying? He went from back back doing DJ stuff on the phone, on the app, uh, on the Serato for the iPhone. And um, ever since then, he just kept on grinding. 
he went from uh from the studio, I mean the radio station in the barber shop to the one by uh by uh, JJ's fish and chicken to here all the way and now he's a uh, uh, um Comment DJ of uh, uh, Hawks. Uh, Hawks and Atlantic yeah. Dreams. And uh College Park Sky. So three yep. different come on. Two change basketball team, man. Stop playing with that oh, man. God. Okay? That man put in the work and that's what we also doing over here. And we try to help you also put in the work but you gotta motherfucker be motivated, okay? I'm, I'm basically giving you the cheat code and the cheat yeah. Okay, Run the Jay is in the fucking building. Yeah, I'm, I'm here to get the cheat code too. I, I love helping people and I love like teaching people stuff and giving people the stuff they need to know. And stop feeling like just because you're older than somebody, you can't learn from somebody who's in you. Right. This world is always changing, okay? Same way your grandma went out of right over. It's the same way how this shit works too, okay? I'm got two ears in one mouth for a fucking reason. You got some more shit, more flavors for that ears for the man? Yeah. Before we get into this, uh. Yeah, I got some. I forgot my own damn mix. The vibe mix. Before we get to the vibe mix. Hey, you want to put on your, uh, on the, uh, on the ox. I gotta load it up right now. What you got for? Nice. It's the on you. Stop that exclusive. Get them flavor and they motherfucking in. Talk to them. Alright. Yeah, I just sent it to you. I just sent it to you. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were playing it. Okay, I'll play some. Oh, let's see. The good thing about being a producer too, this free game for y'all producers and stuff like that. You guys need to be like very, very versatile. Don't make trap. All the time, don't make the uh, shooting nigga type shit, you know what I'm saying? Don't make the R&B. Do everything that y'all need to do, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's what's gonna make you money. You got some country beats? Country? I mean, I got some country trap, you know what I'm saying? Like, little nice six old time roll. I got some rock stuff too. But, um, yeah, you just gotta be like very, very versatile. You know what I'm saying? You never know who the, who the next person is. You never know like what could be like the next thing. You know what I'm saying? To me, personally, I really think we're back in a time where like crunk music was dying out, the uh, lean with it, rock with it type shit. I know I'm saying. I, I gotta go for 2020. I want to make a, a gospel record. I never wrote a gospel record, but I you know like, Yeah, that's crazy. I feel like I can make a lit, very lit gospel record. With no curse. Yes, I know how to not curse too. It just sounds good to me. You know, you know what's crazy? I actually know somebody that do that do want to like do like the whole gospel stuff like with that. With cursing. Without cursing. Oh. But I thought you were I fucking love you, Jesus. You want to get down on me? I really think that's what's that's really finna come to, though. Cause yeah. like, it's yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? After this is kind of did that, uh, but you know, did that shit. What really makes a curse Who decided that bitch was a bad word? You know I don't know. If you ask me, Trump is a bad word. Yeah. Bad word, bad person, bad place. Yup. I, I, I agree with that, too. I don't got nothing against Trump. You know what I'm saying? I do. But like, it's a lot of stuff be saying, yeah, it's it's, it's true, but they be saying that the wrong time. Like, like say like you, you say like somebody had a disabled kid, he was like, oh, your your son is retarded, man. You know what I'm saying? You saying that's right the wrong time. That was your Donald Trump. Yeah, I don't want to ask me like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying. Ain't, ain't like how some how some people be doing. They be getting on point. And I, me personally, I've noticed when he talks, like he will go press releases and shit. He talks like he makes it up as he goes. Nothing is ever written, and it's straight freestyle. He just be like, as we are the American people, uh, you know, Trump, <laughs> and that's it. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. So Trump is something else. Nonetheless, let's give him some more flavors before we get to the vibe mix. One of Jason in the building. Drop yes, sir. Back, back to what I was saying about being diverse. I do have like a house. Uh, EP out there is called The Grind is out available everywhere. And the good thing about this too, this is my first actual like EP four tracks that I, that I ever put out there in my life. You know what I'm saying? And like it's doing like ginormous numbers overseas. You know what I'm saying? This is doing good part. over there, huh? That's the best part. Exactly. Fuck America. Oh God. And it is doing overseas in uh, Paris, UK. You know what I'm saying? Bonjour. All, all, all that stuff. Yeah, bonjour. The girls out there looking good too. You know what I'm saying? So I, you I, go to Paris? No, no. I love to go to. We got these left girls. Mm, they, they do got like a whole Caribbean scene out there too. Go, it's, it's the game plan. We're going to get these passports. We're going to go to Canada. Oh, God. And then from Canada, we're going to go over the world. Oh, God. I'm, I'm trying to find We got the fun of the Canada right in the building. But we, we going to get into that by now. <laughs> Drop that five for the ass. Let them know what's going on. 
Run the J's in the building, New York Chili Champagne Jewels. It's the Bob Show, only on Halloween video. You think? Let's go, Runner. Nonetheless, Runner J, definitely appreciate you coming. Um, any, any more words for the people? Oh, yeah, we got a lot of words for the people and stuff like that. Shout out to Champagne Juice for bringing me out here, you know what I'm saying? That's like my brother. We, we got like old pictures together. If you scroll down on uh, both of our Instagrams, you can see him. Yeah. Um, Shit, we both had baby faces and shit like that, but uh, yeah, well, just a couple words. I'm still wrong, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I still look the same and shit like that, but um. No, you did, yeah. 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 I still don't see that shit. But no, wait, uh. Hey, 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 Whatever if you like a rapper, a rapper, a producer, an artist, an engineer, or really whatever you're doing, you can be like scraping dude off the side of the street, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to wake up and do something, do it good. Don't half-ass nothing in your life, you know what I'm saying? And um, just be willing to put well, yourself out there. You be lazy and you half-ass, but that's another story. A whole nother story. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but yeah. Uh, if you're gonna do something, do something good, do something great, you know what I'm saying? Don't listen to nobody that's gonna be uh, telling you that, that you can't do something uh, or you, you're you not able to do something. Just show them and turn up on them, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying like, oh, oh I'm gonna show you and this and that, like, nah. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta put out positive energy out there, you know what I'm saying? Don't hold grudges. Um, and really just like being in your own lane, you know what I'm saying? We in 2020 right now, it's a new decade, it's a new time to be alive, you know what I'm saying? If Donald Trump could become president, you, you could can too. You can too, goddamn. You you could be anything that you wanna be. Unless you got like felonies then you don't if, if you got felonies or you did something to somebody, you, don't qualify. you popping pills and girls drinks, you oh, can't qualify. Man. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what you fuck on uh, Bill Cosby is man, he ain't good at Yeah, I don't think he did that shit. Yeah. Okay, that's another story. But but you know, we, we, uh, I wouldn't say pray for R. Kelly, but we really gotta pray for the victims. Pray for the victims and R. Kelly. I just hope that, that this all comes out to be not true. That's all I can say. Yeah, but um, then again, like you know what I'm saying, like I, I want everybody to uh really like be positive out here. There's a lot of people dropping out like flies and stuff like that. And like, oh yeah, back to the music. I want to drop some gems for the people that want to get into the industry. From what I learned from experience and stuff like that. Don't wait for somebody to go like ee, ee, and write a lyrics to box your ass and put you on. Uh, it's not gonna work like that. At all. You know what I'm saying? At all. It don't happen overnight. It don't happen overnight. It I'm takes years. Thing, it takes years. It takes it's dedication. Like my, my, what? Fourth show, okay? I tried and failed and tried and failed and tried and failed again and I'm still here. And you're gonna win. What, what's that shit off of, uh, Friday with uh, uh, Pops saying, Rick Pops, you know what I'm saying? He was yeah. like, you win some. Oh, yeah, you win some. That line, that line. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can play the scene another day, you know what I'm saying? That's right. So just keep on going and never stop running. What I mean by never stop running is basically staying in your own lane, running your own race, and don't worry about what the left or the right person is doing right next to you. You keep you keep it straight ahead forward. And you're gonna be good. You know what I'm saying? And um yeah, just like just like my advice for the producers is because I know like I got like a lot of uh young producers following me and and stuff like that. And like, I don't know if my little brother will start making beats too, you know what I'm saying? I might help him out and stuff like that, but if you're a producer, don't listen to like, or what, what the A&R say to you and stuff like that, saying, oh yeah, that's not it. Cause like, if you got like a sound and stuff like that, stick with that sound. It's just not for him. Yeah, it's just not for him. You know what I'm saying? And just like, keep on doing whatever you do, cause your sound might be the next sound. You know what I'm saying? I believe my sound probably could be the next sound and stuff like that. Like, people oh, listen to you. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, yo, you know the fact that beat you sent me. I can uh, 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 uh. Yo. I'm right here. We gonna talk. 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 All right, make sure y'all follow that shit too. Make sure y'all follow one Jake before we get up out of here. Uh, let me know to Instagram this one more time for you. Go. One runner. Yes, yeah, it's, it's at one runner J. That's R U N N A J. Okay. I lost it. There's some soul folks out there. You guys, tell us one. We'll get to one more time. It's at one. R U N N A J A Y. Listen, it's my Instagram. Number one, you don't spell it. Number one. The number okay. one. Who knows? You put the one, then you put the R, then you put the U, then you put the N N A, then you put the J A Y. Okay, oh God. It's the Bob Show. Appreciate you, brother J, for stopping by. Oh, yeah, one more thing, too. 
Uh, me and Jules came up with a special opportunity. That's what we're gonna do. They're gonna have to follow you to fucking find out. Matter of fact, yeah. Like, oh, follow me. You gonna see the announcement. We got a special opportunity for, well, for the artists out here. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna post an announcement tonight for you guys. Y'all gonna check it out. It's gonna really change some of you guys' lives out here. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. Thanks for saying. Shout out to the Bob Show. Shout out to Rachel Black. What's up? Shout out to uh, How Do You Mean Radio? Shout out to Bob Bob Bob. Rich. Oh God. Shout out to Imprint the label, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to myself and shout out to the big man above, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Uh, we out here at the Fox Show. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yo, Chuck Champagne Jules, I'm still here, though. You already know I got the five minutes coming up for you right exactly.